Hi, and welcome to the Digital Job Site, where the boards are straight, the weather's great, and there really is a board stretcher. Even though in this particular blog post we won't be using the board stretcher uh, because we're talking about paint scheming, coming up with design ideas and concepts, going through to see what those different ideas might look like in a space before dipping a brush and uh, committing to gallons of custom mixed paint. And this tutorial, I'll just start out with this small, very simple model, which you're seeing here is basically just a cutaway view of a, of a room. It's a small home office where the customer wanted to consider using an accent wall, possibly an accent stripe, into, uh, into the theme of the office. So rather than put tape up on the walls and, and start painting things and deciding later and having to repaint, I worked through these uh, SketchUp model to show them various iterations so they could make a choice beforehand and uh, buy paint once and only paint once. So this is, uh, this is the way I did it. Picked a, just drew a simple room, picked up a desk from the Google Component Warehouse, or actually the Trimble Component Warehouse, plop that in the drawing for the paint color on the wall. I just used the material bucket and selected the colors and from this material list took a paint chip from the paint store held it up to the computer monitor and and picked a color that was pretty close one of these and held the monitor held the held the color up and uh, adjusted the color so that it would look just like the computer chip. Just use the, the color here, the color bars to adjust the color and make it look as close to the color on the paint chip as I could. That way we're talking with talking about using pretty accurate colors for this paint scheme. And the first set of considerations was an accent wall with an accent stripe contrasting colors which you see here. And to further develop that concept, I just created another model, actually an iteration of that one, and in this one moved the stripe up and worked on the desk. I put in an ash wood finish and painted it black, a little more like what's going to end up in this office, and it was pretty simple just to go through some different concepts. As the idea started to get closer, the stripe wasn't really what, what they were after either, so we changed again another model and developed it just a little bit further, moved the desk, made a solid accent wall, stripes on either side to kind of get a different idea of how that would look. And then finally moved to this last model here, which switched the accent wall, raised the stripe, added a curtain, moved the desk, that sort of thing to give a better idea of what the space might look like and this final configuration here is what the customer settled on and I'm not I'm not profess, professing to be any sort of an interior decorator and so if you're an interior decorator don't bother yelling at me if this doesn't make sense but I'm showing the process of using SketchUp to work through various layouts and paint schemes uh, on a computer rather than dipping a brush and uh, committing to a whole bunch of paint that will never get used. So that gives you a quick idea of the benefits of using a SketchUp model to consider different paint schemes. It's a pretty simple process. You can add as much or as little detail to the space as makes sense. You can see I didn't add any uh, base molding, didn't fill in the window, didn't do a lot with the doors and still got the concept of all these various paint schemes before I ever dipped the brush. So I'll do another video to follow up on this one and show some ideas on how I quickly created these various models with their variations and uh, try to present the, the process so that you could adapt it to a design, paint design scheme layout project that you might be working on. Thanks for watching.